Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, in this video, we're going to go over a summary of all the rewards that I got from my rifts. I was able to do 19 rifts thanks to Kabam giving out a compensation of 10,000 Intel. So, that allowed me to do all the rifts plus get the chronometer and still have Intel to spare. Love it. Okay, now if you haven't watched my live stream where I did all of these live, I had two live streams. I did the first seven in one live stream, and then I did uh, a final 12 in the live stream yesterday. So take a look if you haven't, but these are the rewards that I got total. Okay, uh, and these are just the epic riff rewards because I did go through some tier three. Um, riffs as well so the first riff that we ever did we got a tier 2 alpha catalyst that is a awesome way to start my rift history then i got 1000 six star shards still loving it that just brings me closer to another six star then i got 4500 tier 5 basic fragments working on another tier 5 basic need those to rank up my champions to rank five or to rank two as a six star. Then I got Mystic Sig Stones. Now I know a lot of people don't like to get Sig Stones from there. Uh, they consider those to be the worst. Well, I am cheap to play, I guess you would say. You know, I have the sigil, but I don't buy units. I don't buy the offers. You know, I don't spend money outside of when people give me donation I get the sigil. So that means that I am starved for signature stones. Okay. And so getting these, awesome. When I do finally pull Doom from a crystal, I want to be able to take him all the way up. And I'm nowhere close to that. So these six stones were very welcome. Then I had a Mutant Awakening Gem. So at first, I was like, oh man, I already have a Mutant Awakening Gem. I'm saving it for a Namor or Omega Red. Even though I have Omega Red as a six star, I still will take up a five star Omega Red because I can actually awaken him and put six stones into him. But then I was like, you know, two of them means I don't have to worry about it. Now, whether I get Namor or Omega Red, I'm set, okay? So also very welcome. Then I got 2000 five star shards. That doesn't excite me as much, but it will let me open up more crystals. And even if I get dupes, that's more six star shards. All right, then we got another tier two alpha catalyst. We were killing it. Those first seven were awesome, okay? So then Kabam gave us the 10,000 and I did another live stream and the first one after I bought the chronometer, the first one was a science awakening gem. That is the awakening gem that I wanted the most because I have Void who I wanted to awaken. And I've got science six stone to put into him. So the very first rift of that day was science. I was, I mean, I was like, well, whatever I get after this, you know, it doesn't really matter because that's the one that I wanted the most. The next rift, the science awakening gem did show up again, but now it was random. And so instead I got 2000 five star shards again. Still not mad about that. And then I've got a five star featured crystal. Now that is crazy good, right? But with my current roster, I looked at the pool and the only one in there that I don't have is abomination. So if an abomination comes out of that crystal, well worth it. Otherwise, it's gonna be a dupe. Now I might get a first time awakening out of it, so that would be okay as well. So we'll see. Right now, I look at that as more six star shards and signature levels on someone. Then I got a Mystic Awakening Gem. Now my history with Mystic Awakening Gems, it's not good. I got five in a row, complained to Kabam, told them you need to look at your RNG, something isn't right, this should not take place. 
And I don't know if they ever listened or anything like that. But I finally broke the streak and got some other Awakening Gems. So seeing this one brought back some bad memories. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I have, this is the class that I have the most of, you know, Awakening Gems. But we got another one. No, okay. Then we got Science Sig Stones. Now, I just told you I got Void. And he he makes use of every single SIG level. He doesn't need to be maxed, but every point that you put into him is worth it. So that was very precious, okay? Love it. Then I got another Mystic Awakening Gem. Now I know there's a lot of people that wish they got this many Awakening Gems from these rifts, but I don't need any more Mystic Awakening Gems. Really don't. Then I got another 4,500 Tier 5 Basic Frags. Not mad about that. Then I got another Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst. I need these to rank up my champions. Can't get enough of them, at least at this point. Then I got Cosmic Sig Stones. Now, I already told you how I feel about Sig Stones. And those are precious because I have Silver Surfer. And I need Sig Stones for Silver Surfer. So that was beautiful. Love it. Okay. Then the next two were 1,000 Five Star Shards. Again, same thing. I'll probably get dupes out of them, but there's always a chance I get a new champion. And then the bonus rift, the one that we got because Kabam gave us the 10,000 uh, intel, so I was able to get a chronometer plus another rift detector. We finished it off with a tier two alpha catalyst. What a way to finish off these uh, rifts. So I had an awesome time, but I didn't stop there because Silver Surfer, I want to take him to rank five, of course, and I was short one cosmic class catalyst and I could not get it. I've been using my glory to buy the five um, T4 class catalyst crystals and I've been striking out. Okay, not been happy about wasting my glory like that. And someone made the suggestion that I go through with my extra intel, go through the tier three. I didn't even know what the rewards were. I didn't even know that you could get that. And because I have so much intel, I bought the chronometer and we went in there and I don't have enough time to do all of the tier three rifts that I could. So I went through and one of them was a cosmic. I used a chronometer, got it. So I have enough class catalysts anyway to take my Silver Surfer up to rank five. Now I got to get the rest of the resources. All right. But now all I was doing, because it's almost done, uh, is I would go through as I had energy. That was it. I got uh, two times, I got 18,000 tier four basic fragments. So another tier four basic class, uh, catalyst. And then another time I went through, I got a T4 basic hole. And so they were actually worth doing. I got some other things like a, a four star science awakening gem. Well, I was debating whether I wanted to try to get my red guardian as a four star awakened. And I was going to grind in the arena for battle chips and possibly awaken him. Now I don't need to do that. So it was actually worth doing. You know, I wasn't going to spend any more energy refills because of the new event. I was going to use my energy refills there. But all in all, this rift uh, event was great. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to click like if you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you got out of your riffs. I know there were a lot of people in my live stream that were listing out what they got in their riffs, but leave a comment and let me know what your rewards were looking like. You know, were they as good? Brag about your rewards or, you know, shed tears about your rewards, depending on what you got. You know, I came out like a bandit, no complaints here, um, but take care, everyone, and you all 
Have a blessed day.